Hi there, it's Lee here from iMindBlocks. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a brand new Ethereum wallet using MyEtherWallet.com. So MyEtherWallet is one of the easiest ways that you can set up a brand new Ethereum wallet. And in this video, I'll be showing you the process from start to finish, how to set up a wallet, create it, save your files uh, securely and safely. Um, also the basics of sending and receiving transactions. So let's get started with that now. Okay, so I'm on the Mac here, but the process can be very similar whether you're using Mac um, or Windows for most people. Uh, the only uh, slight exception is um, on the Mac, I'm actually going to be using the Chrome browser, not the built-in Safari browser. Uh, reason being is there is a slight um, issue when you're actually downloading your sort of JSON wallet file. So I'm actually going to be using uh, Chrome and it'll just help us get through the, uh, the initial setup process. You can actually use Safari after you've created the wallet, um, but the actual download process is not not very good. Um, so on Windows you might want to use Firefox or something and you'll get the same uh, results. So from Google we're just going to go to myetherwallet.com so just confirm it's the correct address obviously it's a secure address HTTPS and it's myetherwallet.com uh, only use that site don't use um, any other sites so on the first part you've got this new wallet and this is the default page that the actual uh, website opens up as and then you can enter a password so you want to choose something uh, unique and secure with multiple characters numbers and um, also special characters as well is useful um, and you also want to make a record of this uh, password also because it's going to be used for actually unlocking your wallet in combination with a file so for this one I'm just going to use a very simple password I'm just going to use password 1234. Um, that's all I'm going to use for it. So obviously it's just a demo account. I'm not going to be using this um, wallet you know, in real life. For you guys, make sure it's a secure password known only to yourself. What I'm also going to do is actually just open up. I'm just going to open up a notepad and uh, also record these details. I'll go back to the browser now. So if you click on the create new wallet button, now that we've entered our password and saved it, we now have the option to download the actual key store file. So the key store file is effectively your Ethereum wallet and it includes the information um, about the actual wallet itself, uh, the, the address, etc. So what we should be able to do is uh, click on this and actually download a, uh, the key store file itself. So you can see it's just downloaded there and most likely it will be in your uh, downloads folder. So I'm going to actually uh, click on the button and then say show in finder. And you can see it's actually saved to downloads. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is just going to drag it across. I'm just going to place it on a desktop for the time being. Just close the downloads now and I'll return back to the actual browser. So it just uh, reminds you to keep a copy of your key style file and also your password. You can also uh, record the private key as well, which we're going to do uh, next. So this is your private key. Uh, with this private key, you can use to uh, restore your Ethereum wallet if you've uh, lost your um, a key store file itself. So this is uh, very important. You don't want to be sharing this with uh, anybody um, at all. Uh, just keep it private and to yourself. I'm also going to paste this into the uh, text pad. Uh, it's also worth taking note, so what each part is, because sometimes the addresses and stuff can get a little bit confusing. Um, and also, I'll add a bit at the bottom, which is going to be for the actual address. Uh, also, I'll, uh, I'll cover towards the actual end of the video how to sort of um, save all this securely um, in the next section. So you can either print it or just click on next with uh, we've already saved it. Okay, so that's the actual wallet creation part itself. The next part is actually um, effectively like logging in, um, accessing your wallet itself. So when you first come to my Ether wallet. I'll just go back to the beginning. You've got these tabs at the top. So what you want to do is click on the Send, Ether and Tokens tab. And it will ask you for 
different variations um, of how your wallet is actually saved. So we're actually going to be using the key store file. We're going to select the wallet file. So we've already saved it to my desktop. So it's this one that starts UTC and it also ends with your, effectively that will be your Ethereum address. And we're going to open that. We'll also ask for our password, which we've already saved. And then we can unlock the actual wallet. Let me just make this window a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've now into the actual main interface of the MyEth wallet. So on the right hand side, we've got our account address. So I'm also just going to copy that and I'll paste it into our text pad because it's good to have the, the address handy just to know kind of what details go with uh, what. Whoops. Uh, just confirm that you're recording the right details. So 0x6c and ends 365. Just make sure you don't have any white space at the front or, or back of the actual file itself, like empty spaces. So from this panel, we've got our account address, so we can use that to receive Ethereum into this wallet. And we can also send uh, Ethereum on our account balance out of, out of the wallet itself as well. So what I'll show you now is I'll log into my other account and I'll show you how to actually send a uh, transaction using this, this interface. Okay, so I've just entered the JSON wallet file for my account and also my password, and we're gonna unlock this now. So you can see it just updates. Um, so this is obviously one of my addresses, and I've got an account balance of 2.189 Ethereum. Uh, on the right-hand side, it will also show you your token balances as well. So if you click show all tokens, it will show you the balances of tokens, which are off on the Ethereum network itself. And you can also add custom tokens as well if they're not already uh, in this list. Uh, let me just uh, close that up. Just to show you how that uh, token kind of interface works as well. So what I'm gonna show you now is uh, how to actually send a basic Ethereum transaction. So let's say you maybe want to send a tip to me. Uh, this is the process for doing it. Uh, you open up one of my videos, and I'm sorry, it's a bit of a shameless, shameless plug. Um, and if you go down, you've got my uh, tip address. So we've got the Ethereum address, that's the one that we want. So we're gonna select that, and we're gonna copy it. Go back to the My Ethereum wallet, and we're just gonna paste it into the address box. The amount to send is any amount you wish. Uh, for testing, I'm just going to send 0 0.001. <laughs> uh, I think that was the correct. Yes, 0 0.0001. Um, yeah, to the actual chip address. So that's the amount we're going to send. The gas limit, by default, you probably just want to leave it as it is. It does change uh, dynamically based on the actual uh, network. And then from there, you can select uh, generate transaction. Okay guys, just a little snippet of extra information here I noticed on the actual editing. So you can also edit the actual gas price of your Ethereum transaction. So we covered the address, the amount to send, and the actual gas limit. But on the actual wave, well it's quite easy to miss because it's actually all the way down at the bottom of the actual page. So I'll move the actual video around, but you can see this price here, this gas price. So effectively on this slider, you can actually adjust uh, the gas price for your actual transaction itself um, and it's pretty straightforward normally it's around about center and that will give you uh, a reasonably fast uh, transaction with you know uh, normal sort of transaction speed uh, if you're uh, want to save a little bit on the actual transaction you can reduce the actual slider down uh, but what that will mean is that the actual transaction will kind of get put effectively at the back of the queue and um, so I don't really recommend that I would leave this part in the middle or if you want to send a kind of urgent transaction or you really want the transaction to get through, uh, you can slide it forwards um, to increase the actual transaction uh, speed as well uh, in combination with increasing the actual gas limit. So that was just like a little tidbit of extra information that I just want to uh, add in there because like I say, it's at the bottom right hand corner, it's easy to be forgotten. Uh, for most people, you probably won't even ever use the actual slider, but I just wanted to add that extra piece of information in there for you. So. Uh, do your address, the amount send, gas limit, and 
at the bottom make sure it's kind of centered or if you want to increase the speed a little uh, then do that so what it's going to do is it's going to generate the transaction on your local browser once it has all the information then it's going to relay that across to the network so this is kind of like a web interface but you're not actually going through a website as such only the um, the required information is 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 sent to the network not your account details etc so we click on the uh, generate transaction button and you're going to get a raw transaction and a signed uh, transaction. If you click on the send transaction button, it will send this across the network. So it just confirms it. You're sending it from this account to this account. Sometimes they have these, uh, well, in fact, always they'll have these little um, address icons. And it just confirms what the details of the actual transaction are. So you're going to send this amount to this address. Do you want to continue? And um, either you made a mistake and you want to not continue uh, or in this case we do want to continue so yes I'm sure make the transaction so we click on that and then at the actual bottom it's going to say that your um, transaction has been broadcast to the actual network and it also give you a transaction ID so if you want to um, make someone aware that you've sent the actual transaction you can send this transaction ID and they can look that up on the actual Ethereum Explorer um, I'll just show you how that looks as well. If we click on verify transaction, it'll open up Ethereum Explorer uh, with the actual transaction ID. So with um, all blockchain systems, it's gonna propagate through the actual network itself. So uh, with Ethereum, what you wanna do is just leave it for a few minutes. Um, if you refresh the page after a few minutes, you'll see the actual transaction kind of going through the actual network. Uh, for Ethereum transactions, you need 12 blocks or 12 confirmations for it to go through fully. Just go back to the My Ether wallet there. You can close that bottom part. And that is it for this um, section. So cover the basics of how to set up an Ethereum wallet using MyEtherWallet.com and also uh, sending and receiving transactions. Uh, one last piece that I want to sort of cover is uh, just the actual uh, basics of uh, saving and taking care of your uh, wallet details. So what you should have is a text pad which looks something like this. So you've got your password in there to unlock the wallet. You've also got your private key which is used for restoring your wallet should you lose your uh, JSON file. Uh, and also your wallet um, address. Uh, what I tend to do when I have this um, set up like this, uh, the way I save it is I save it as a text document, just as it is, just give it a useful name so you can remember. And I also have uh, the actual JSON file. So I will just create a new folder and we'll just call it uh, wallet demo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Ethereum wallet into this folder. Also, I'm going to save the uh, text pad into the same folder. You can just give it. confirm that they are both in there which they are okay so now we have this wallet folder effectively with all the essentials for the my ether wallet uh, ethereum wallet what i would then do from this point it's not exactly easy to show you because i'm on the actual map mac um, but i would use a winrar to save and encrypt uh, in a password protected fashion this actual wallet demo folder so all you do is uh, right click it, go to WinRAR, save as, and then you can enter a password to actually save it, and then delete the original open uh, wallet. Obviously, if you only have small amounts of um, uh, Ethereum in your wallet, you can sort of leave it on your desktop, leave it open if you wish, but I don't really recommend that. You may also want to save this folder to a like USB pen drive, or if it's encrypted, um, like say using the WinRAR method, and um, you can save it using like um, Dropbox service or Google Cloud, just to keep it somewhere um, separate from your actual computer itself. That's something that I would recommend also. Okay guys, so thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful and uh, enjoyable to watch. Uh, if you like this kind of video, uh, be sure to check out my other videos. I do upload content like this on a regular basis. And uh, it's been great sharing this with you. So till next time guys, take care.